Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Colonization. And we're finally starting our We War of Independence. Not going all that well so far. And yeah, well, I also was afraid it would do that. Oh, we didn't get this artillery. Oh, thank goodness. We beat his artillery. And he's attacking us. We should win this. Which of course means we lose. Okay, he lost there at least. Okay, that's the worst of that. Uh, yeah, you group more colonists. Uh, just stuff them inside. The massive food amounts here, that's going to change as soon as we get the planters operational. You got yourself a fort, there is nothing else here that will make us money, but an armory will allow us to stuff three colonists somewhere, so it doesn't require tools, which is by far the most essential thing right now. <laughs> Yeah, um, I can even stuff you now. There. I mean, I can put them in all the small buildings. The problem is they're going to get yelled at every single turn that they run out of goods to uh, refine. Right, Recif actually had this much. Oh. How did you get so much, that much food of us all of a sudden? Oh, well, I guess you're gonna stay here and hopefully I'll find some use for you. I'll actually just start educating him into the arts of cotton planting right away. England declares war on the Netherlands and joins the War of Independence on the rebel side. British General Cornwallis dispatched to New Holland for strategic consultations. consultations. The English Navy plans bombardment of Tory held fortifications. There we go. English intervention force arrives in Curacao. Well, you head up to Bahia and save the tools. You head to Paramaribo, get down there. The king still has forces, so we need to wipe them out here. Try to at least, come on. That's just one left. Actually, we're gonna wait, because that's the most vulnerable unit, unit type in the game. There aren't any more horses here, so you need to slide south to Paramaribo. And you slide to Blissingen. And now we have a problem, because we can't bring our forces north fast enough. He was coming up here to the farm the field somewhere. Oh, you can afford to go off this square. There we go. Perfect. Makes me some cotton. And makes me some more cotton. That's main zero bubble food, which is perfect. Well, sort of. Could use extra food for making... Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, making horses at this point. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and that's as far as we can go, and that means we can't even defend New Holland. 
Uh, you can go to Fort Orange and fortify. Which means I can act wake up the other dude. And here, let's see. Now, of course, he's in mixed forests and everything. Um, so let's attack you first. You can't get up there in time. So I want you to hold out at Fort Nassau. Fortify there. Because, ah, not you. I'm gonna replace the dude at Fort Nassau. Probably don't need people at Fort Nassau. It should be defended enough. Yeah, you're gonna wait, dude. Wait your turn. You on the other end aren't gonna wait. You're gonna storm down here. And charge that. Because that should train you. There we go. Alright, you're gonna wait right there. Just in case I can use you. Um... I don't think I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna wake you up. Because you should have enough range to get up there. Yep, you do. Really? The artillery is... okay. In that case, let's attack the artillery. Though now we have the slight problem of this dude. Um, you're gonna take a chunk. Well, yeah, they kind of declared war on us, so why not? Yes, we're going to declare war on the Iroquois. Um, stay put in Fort Nassau for a while. From there you'll have almost enough range to go anywhere. just have to sort some local troops up in the north. Um, stay right there, by the way. We have a skip. We have a big bad skip. Tiny little skip. Okay, right. You're gonna go and get mounted up. The men of wars are kind of nice, but there's... Yeah, we're not going to win the naval battle. That just isn't in the cards. Uh, I'm going to attack from this field. Uh, there is attacking from this square. I assume that they can land on top of you. I know they do that if you have the entire coast fortified. So... But I don't know if they do that if you have just a few units there, so... I don't really want to test it out. If I can avoid it. So I'm going to try to not to attack... ...directly from a coastal square. Uh, right, artillery pieces. Um, well, Pernambuco could certainly need extra artillery at this point. So, let's send them this way. Of course, he still has quite a lot of troops. Uh, da, 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 da. It shouldn't be an attack on Bonaire. So, I'm gonna wake him up at the very least. I'm a bit fearful about using the ones at the coast, so... You only have that horsey. And there you have artillery, that's fine. Fort Nassau. Alright, you just got there, so that's okay. <laughs> Can't use the one in Willemstadt. I'd rather not use the ones in the coastal fort, but oh well. well. We will have one turn ahead head start anyway, so... Well, there we go, it was just one unit to go. Excellent! So we cleared away everything he has there. There is one very angry native out there, but I think we'll be better off defending against him. 
Yeah. Onwards. Yeah, Apache attack, we kind of expected that. So he has 1.5 versus R. Uh, 10, 50. <laughs> our strength is a bit more than that. So I wouldn't be surprised if he actually. Oh, actually, okay, good. It was just wiped out. I almost expected him to do something bad. And yes, that fort we will buy. We're still waiting for more training here. We don't have fur, we don't... Ah, fine, you can go there. We have some cotton. Um, that's probably worth it. At least at this point. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now... Uh, yeah, liberty bells and crosses. Not worth a damn. Uh, Coats not worth a damn, I should might as well stop producing them. When I see it at least. I just need you guys to be in a place where you aren't gonna complain about shortage of raw materials, and that's actually not gonna happen. There aren't any other places where I can stuff you and not have you yell at me. Hmm. Oh, fine. I guess I'll let the game yell at me for a while then. And there's nothing here you can build. You don't produce tools. Switch to no production, that's fine. you can still train people, so... Forgot to check, actually, I didn't that probably had... Someone making furs. <laughs> yeah, I need to switch that around. It's money out the window. Then again, I don't know if the money... If we are gonna have a hit a max cap on the money here. Everything else has a cap, so why not the money as well? So this time we landed all his troops up here. Which suits me just fine. That means we're gonna have a massive attack bonus. Which is quite useful, except when you lose. Uh, load up on tools. Alright, I forgot to mount you guys up. Oops. And send the tools upwards. Come on. Fine, go there and attack, please. Finally. I'd prefer if you used the cavalry in this square. Because we kind of have to go south with the rest of them. Uh, you don't have enough horses to do anything here, really. Um, go to Blissingen, because I know we had tons of horses on board ships there. Uh, they did land on the north, so okay, you're gonna wait. Ah, come on. Of course, you got routed. Much better. Uh, do, 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 wait a second. Actually, no. You know what? Fortify here. And send the other one to placing it. I don't really want to go down there yet. I want to get the. I want to control these units up here. Fine. Uh, 
Okay, you can go north. Grumble. Uh, that Broadly Forest was supposed to be chopped down. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Uh, not yet with you. You are too uneducated. You can also wait. <laughs> there we go. Now we can use the uneducated. <laughs> so to speak. Uh, come on, dragoons, regular dragoons. You should have more than enough bonus to actually defeat an artillery piece in the open. I don't really want to attack the king's armies with, with just uh, dragoons. But they're good for clearing out artillery, since artillery in the open absolutely sucks. There we go. Now the force is rebuffed. You can just hang out here. Central command, you can wait down there. You're sailing in to say hi to the ship in the bay there. Put, that's fine. Kaboom! Of course. Start to blissing, please. Um, you're gonna stay right here. Blissing needed one artillery, so. And the other one we're gonna send all the way to Paramaribo. Now we have two troops here that needed horses. There are three actually. some of the horses and they're still fortified, yes, good. Yeah, it's gonna be very bad to be a horse. It's very, Independence War is a very bad, bad time to be a horse in, in the new world. <laughs> a very bad time. Uh, we fortify there. Boo. Okay, we know that this is worthless. Problem is trying to find somewhere else for them to work. Actually, there is cotton here. And I haven't noticed until now. Oh, fine. Uh, well, in that case... Start weaving instead of making fur... Fur coats. Uh, we're gonna say you're all of the tools or anything, but... Yeah, that's fine. Do like this. We're also going to complain about lack of raw materials pretty darn soon. I can always stuff you up in the... there, there we go. Yeah, let's do this. Get rid of all our fur traders. The fur traders! The fur traders! They're losing us money! They're traitors! Uh, yeah, we already used that. There's not going to be any other... Resource here. Huh. Okay, you're gonna produce the rum that doesn't actually exist. You just need it to be somewhere in the colony. And that's all I really need from you. Ah! Come on, there we go. Won't let me move them. Boo. Uh, even more people need to be relocated here. I mean, the crosses don't do anything for us, but again, I just want them to be somewhere in the colony. And uh, not give me a error message every single turn that you've run out of goods to manufacture with. Uh, no fur trading there. And a little bit of it here. Ah, oh, come on. You want to be a lumberjack, or carpenter, whatever. Something like that. Uh, did we produce fur down here? 
No, making food with that. No fair production down in the south, Suriname. Already switched out of that. Sava switch out of it. Utrecht. Uh, there you go. Uh, no fur trading there. Harlem. Uh, it should lead just Hoboken. Uh, since that seems to have stopped selling the zero gold codes. I really question the game design of letting it allow allowing it to slide all the way to zero. I can understand it for food. But not for any other good. Oh well. So we need to repel another next round of the king's troops. Let's see. Still New Holland. Still on that square. Very very good indeed. And then the stairs we got their fort. Um, they're actually out of lumber at this point. So the question becomes: Will this be worth it? Buying it flat out. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Rather insane, I know, but. We're selling the timber everywhere else, so. Uh, yeah, if I can get the textile mill as well. And I have a feeling that we're gonna hit the money cap at some point, so <laughs> that's why. Uh. And that is why we're allowing this to happen. Uh, da, 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 da. We're not gonna need more than two, I think, here. No. So let's switch around a bit. You plant cotton. And you. Oh, come on. Move, my friend. And of course we need to train the last guy into a armor as well. Just so he has a profession and food supplies are now more normalized. Yeah, I know they run out of cotton because they don't have any. I actually haven't caught that one. Oh, okay. Didn't prep that town square. Uh, well, technically we'll actually make a bit of money from weaving. If I prepare the town square there. You bought a fur factory, which is never gonna be used. Sad. And I get the armory just so we have room to st stuff colonies colonists in. And uh, you made a farmer. Yeah I know Bonner doesn't produce sugar. Go figure. Go figure that Canada doesn't have much sugar, f sugar lands. Unless it's maple syrup, I suppose. That's sort of sugar, sweet at least. Uh, Ezekiel doesn't need any other building. Can't slap up the armory. That's fine. Critical tools. Kaboom! Hey, damaged. Awesome. And you have cargoes because you're not exporting them, right? Because right now we uh, you're sort of located. Okay, these tools are just headed out on the plains where there are more. Uh, more pioneers that need them. Okay, time to rebuff the next wave. As much as we're able. Except for the ones that need more horses. More important to mount them up. And I don't want to risk their guns. I mean, if we end up in a war of attrition, when we certainly could here, then it's nice to <laughs> nice to have some stockpiles ready. Actually, this colony actually produces tools. Ah, oh, never mind that. Um, Santa Catalina, did you? Yeah, you need tools. Up from there. Dang it, routed again. 
down again. Um, let's wait. You need to mount up, so go into Bahia. We have a privateer there. Then we'll have horses. You know what? I'm gonna uh, clear order. I'm gonna use that privateer. Wait, my friend, I don't need you just yet. You are gonna plow more fields somewhere. strength. You know, I'm having slight flashbacks to uh, losing battleships to ph phalanxes in Civilization 1. What do you know we actually got rid of the ship? Okay, you're gonna have a... Here, have a horsey. There you go. Ah. Uh, 45 right there. You at least got up here in time. There we go. Perfect. If he insists on attacking that up there, that's actually fine by me because <laughs> that tile is very easy to use. I mean, extra 50% attack, I'll take that. I thought there was... oh yeah, Blissing lost their artillery earlier. You're too far south to matter. Oh, that was actually ours, right, so... And you'll probably not be able... yeah, of course. Press and slowed. Now, I know there was some non-standard troops here, weren't there? No, okay, never mind. I thought there were a few more that needed training, let's see. We well, can fortify right there in Bahia. You can go to New Holland. If I can find the keys, there we go. Ah, dang it. Misclick. I could have gone through by here, though, why didn't I do that? Generate, let's... This is, of course, completely insane. But why not? And let's stay right there. Yeah, I guess we'll just do this then. I thought I had still had some regular dragoons up here, but maybe not. There we go. One more wave rebuffed and we have plenty to go. <laughs> so it's gonna take a while. But it will succeed, hopefully. For now though, time for a break again, I think. Thank you for watching.